We were six months pregnant with uh, Gabby when we went to what we thought was a routine sonogram and it was on March 29th, 2016. And at the sonogram we were told that there was something wrong. And the sonogram was indicating that there were problems with Gabby's heart, there were problems uh, with the skull shape that Gabby had, and she was also incredibly small. I mean she's one percentile, very small. So from there we went to a number of appointments in the next 24 hours, pretty much to figure out is this a viable pregnancy, are we going to uh, meet our daughter? Gabby was born 3 pounds 12 ounces. We finally got a diagnosis of neonatal prodroid syndrome which is a very rare syndrome. They had never seen it. It's so rare that there have only been 40 some cases since 1970 diagnosed. Um, we went home with a very bad prognosis. Most of the studies that have been done said that there's typically a seven month lifespan. So we came home thinking that was gonna be our life. That was gonna be Gabby's life. I was actually Gabby's first doctor at St. Louis Children's Hospital Neonatal Intensive Care Unit and that's when I first met Mike and Leslie and then after I was off service I continued to work with them through our research studies. When we had performed all of the clinical tests that were available to try to identify a genetic diagnosis for Gabby and still did not have an answer, we then recruited the family into our ongoing research studies. We are very fortunate to have here a large number of experts in gene code deciphering and in understanding what the gene code deciphering means for individual patients. We found that the DNA code changes in Gabby weren't straightforward and actually required additional studies from Gabby and her parents and Mike and Leslie were very willing to take those next steps with us to try to identify an answer. Frankly, without knowing what was going on with our daughter, uh, all eyes were on seven months. Let's get to seven months. And we celebrated every month, as Daddy wanted to do, and we um, made it past seven months, and then we decided we were gonna live, and we were gonna fight for Gabby. And right around that time, uh, we had gotten some feedback from the hospital, from the Children's Discovery Institute and the genomics of birth defects project that we had uh, asked to be a part of, that they had found the potential gene that was involved in Gabby syndrome. And for us, you know, it's seven months after Gabby was born, uh, it's ten months into this, this journey of ours that we finally got an answer to what was going on with our daughter. So we have the, the project and the Children's Discovery Institute to thank for that. We were extremely lucky to have both the kinds of resources here on the clinical side and on the research side that made Gabby's discovery possible. And fortunately, we're able now to provide Gabby and her mom and dad with some answers. It's a lifetime movie, this doesn't happen. People don't get answers like we got and it's just great. And it's important for us um, because we want to help and we want to find Gabby's purpose and we think that with more information that we'll be able to change the publications that are out there and give parents more hope that there's life, there's not gonna be seven months. You're gonna have way more than that. You can live now, you can be happy because these kids are happy and they're thriving. You know, and each birthday thereafter, Gabby's first birthday, again, we don't take those things for granted anymore. You know, they're the kind of things that uh, every kid should look forward to. Every family should be able to look forward to that kind of 
kind of celebration. Many children and families come to St. Louis Children's Hospital to look for answers that they cannot find anywhere else. Those answers are enabled and made possible by the donations to research that everyone here at Playdate will make. It's really refreshing for us to see Gabby doing what she's here to do. And it's to help her cause, but then also to help all these other children's cause. And uh, you know, that is just her first two years. You know, we look forward to all the other bigger and greater things that she's, she's meant to do. Today we celebrate. We celebrate a discovery that led to an answer for a family feeling lost. We celebrate a birthday that once seemed an impossibility. We celebrate Gabby. Our wish is that tomorrow we celebrate again. That we always have the answers for all families who walk through the doors of St. Louis Children's Hospital. Your support tonight moves us toward curing childhood illnesses once thought incurable. Our kids' health and well-being have never been more important, and we're primed to lead the way in taking exceptional care of children. Help us make our shared dream a reality. That way, children everywhere get to celebrate more birthdays as they should.